Hello y'all, we're back. I didn't go anywhere, but we're here now. We're still here, I guess. Let me fix my collar, my goodness. Excuse me. I'm Sophia Metropolis. I am an artist. Maybe you knew that. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Some of you knew that. Some of you didn't. If you didn't know that, hi. Welcome. I got the idea for today's video from Mira Byler, where she customized her sketchbook cover, and I thought that was adorable. She painted her sketchbook cover using an acrylic gouache. I don't have an acrylic gouache, but I do have acrylic paint. My first ever YouTube video was an art supply haul from Artists and Craftsmen Supply where I bought a bunch of acrylic paint. I have never used it and I've had my YouTube channel for over three months at this point, which means I've had this paint for over three months at this point and haven't touched it. So I'll show you what I have. We have each of the primaries and then a big fat black and white, just standard. And the reason I bought all of these when I did was because at the end of last year in December of 2019, I moved from California back to New York where I grew up and I got rid of pretty much all acrylic paint that I had, which at that point was only the little tubes of craft paint. So I thought I would level up and get a little bit of a better quality. So today I'm going to customize my sketchbook cover. This is a little baby sketchbook. It's five and a half by eight and a half. I originally bought this because it was small and I wanted to bring it while I traveled abroad. I'm not traveling abroad because it's 2020 and that's what happens. So I've been trying to fill it recently. I haven't been doing a very good job of filling it. I've mostly just been slacking. <laughs> but I figured I'd paint the cover. It looks like fun and it's got like a really nice smooth thing. Whatever. If I'm being totally honest, I have not used acrylic paint in a really long time. Like maybe four years. I know for a fact that the last time I used acrylic paint was the summer that I was a junior in college and that was the only paint I had at the time and I painted a lot with the acrylic. I really enjoyed it. I've pretty much only been using gouache and a little bit of watercolor since then so it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment I think to get back to it but, but I think it'll go well. Also just some random housekeeping updates. I got a new mic which I'm very excited about so hopefully you can hear me a little bit cleaner than some of my other videos. I used to have a separate mic situation, whatever. That's a topic for a studio vlog if you really care about that kind of information. I also got a GoPro. This is my like top-down filming setup. I used to use a webcam for that, so I feel like we are really elevating our process here. So hopefully this video will be a little bit of a higher quality than my previous ones, but I won't bore you with any more of that. Let's get started. I think I'm gonna paint some mushrooms. I wanna do like a little collection of mushrooms. I always talk about doing mushroom drawings here on this channel. I really love mushrooms. They kind of freak me out, but that's kind of why I love them because they're just so confusing and disgusting and just amazing. But I haven't really drawn them that much on this channel. So today we're gonna do it. And also I feel like it's a good vibe for the cover of a sketchbook. Other than that, I have absolutely no plan. So let's get started. <laughs> all right, we got all the important things going for us. Quick materials rundown. I've got my sketchbook that I'm painting on top of. I've got my Weber Masonite palette. I'm using, once again, my cheap synthetic brushes. Uh, I've got a palette knife for mixing and some water in these cups, which I hand blew myself. That's why they are so thick and wonky. We don't judge. I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll be fine. I mean, it's just paint. It's not like it's a big deal, but my brain just went, wow, it's made in the Netherlands. Obviously. Okay, moment of truth. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I'm not used to working with acrylic at all. So this is exciting. We're just gonna start, let me point you down. We're just gonna start with a tiny, oh boy, tiny little bit. I'm gonna be working bigger than this much paint. I'm not used to working like full coverage. So I know I'm gonna need more paint and I know I should mix it ahead of time. All right, I feel like maybe that's, that's definitely not gonna be enough, but. Oh, acrylic paint. All right, we're just going for it, I guess. I have not considered how I'm gonna do over in there. Actually, I'm gonna put some tape down. Should have thought about this earlier. I got some washi. I kind of wish I did this before I made that first thing and had kept th that perforated line, but it's gonna have a nice blue border. Who cares? I make the rules. That's good enough. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Back in business. The reason I haven't really been working with acrylic recently is because I love the fact that you can reactivate gouache and I don't love the fact that you can't reactivate acrylic. I'm just gonna do a chaos cover. I also have considered the fact that if I paint to the edge, I am going to have some spillover onto my pages, but um, it's a sketchbook, so I'm just gonna pretend I don't care, even though I kind of do care, but I'm just gonna pretend I don't. Probably could have put a piece of scrap 
in there, but too late now. We're just winging it. Off to a rocky start. Not my best work. It's kind of making this like trippy, stripey thing because I'm adding in the white. Listen, I didn't title this video perfect painting of my cover. It's just an underpainting. I don't know why I'm so stressed about it, but it's fine. It's gonna add to the integrity of the piece, right? Comment down below if you think I'm gonna regret this. Okay, we're just gonna lean with it, rock with it like this. For now, I took a lunch break and now I'm back. This is dried, so I'm hoping I can try and cover it some more. I think it's still a little damp. Yep, 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 yep. Just marked it. I miss gouache already. I wish this was dry. I've been waiting for five minutes. <laughs> See ya when it's dry. Okay, I'm back. It's dry, except for that one little spot. It's like kind of wet, but <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna draw some mushrooms. I'm gonna try to keep a pretty limited palette. Sorry I'm at this angle right now, but sometimes that's just what happens. So I'm gonna use blue. Say it with confidence, girl. I'm gonna use blue. Blue mushrooms. Okay, I'm just gonna start with these. I'm freaking nervous about painting with acrylic. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure if blue mushrooms exist. And also, if they do, if there's like an implication on that, I'm just gonna go a little experimental with these. I said I was gonna do a limited color palette, and I lied. No limits, baby. I mean, it will still be limited. I'm just adding a little variation. All right, I'm gonna put a tiniest bit of black on here. It's gonna be so small, you're gonna be like, wow, she's so good. Oh, it's growing on me. Okay, I'm putting a tiny little bit of black into this one. These are kind of funny looking shroomies. I kind of like them. And then now I'm gonna go for like a really, a still really blue green. Oh, did I ruin it? I kind of ruined it. It's fine. We're going to come back in with details and it will revive it. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh. I don't like it as much as I liked it like five minutes ago. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's check in. How are we feeling? We're feeling um, rather indifferent about these plant-like structures. I think the addition of extra colors helps. It's not gonna be so bad, but it's not gonna be my favorite. Oh boy, do I like this? I can't tell. It needs some sort of border. And dare I say, a black outline. We had a small conversation about black outlines in the comment section of my strawberry dress video, which you can watch up there. And a lot of people were saying that instead of a black outline, I should try doing it in the color that I'm painting in, which I totally agree with and I wanna try that. But in this case, because it's the cover and because it's acrylic, I'm gonna do it in black. Because these are my Posca markers and these are the thin ones that I have. And pretty much the only one that's darker than this is the black, so. But I, I do, I'm keeping that in my noggin, so. Oh, and it's kind of giving me a little scrofito effect. Now they kind of look like asparagus. It's like peeling off the paint because I didn't wait for it to dry, but I'm cool with it. with it. Kind of goofy. I'm gonna peel the paint tape off. It's a little crooked the way I apply the tape. Cool, cool, cool. It's fine. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Fun little silver spots. 
on these asparagus. Mushrooms and asparagus, you know what? Sounds like a tasty dinner to me. It's kind of cute. I maybe went a little bit overboard. Okay, I'm gonna do one last thing. I don't know if that's the right choice. My battery on this camera is gonna die. I should have waited for it to dry before I did this, but I'm trying to beat the battery here. Oh, I kind of like that. Is it crooked? Yeah, a little. But that's okay. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I think she looks cute. This was a new adventure for me. This is the final cover. I think it came out pretty nice. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sophia Metropolis. I make art videos, um, mostly, <laughs> every Wednesday and Friday. I also now have a Patreon. You can support me on Patreon. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to check out my Patreon, the link is in the description, along with all of the materials that I used today. Thanks so much for watching. I said that like three times already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>